What is going on guys, it's Avix here and we are back with a new video and today we're on Counter-Strike 2 and we're going to be addressing some of the micro stutters issues that have been particularly bad with the latest update uh, over in February uh, with the call to arms update. So there's some issues with uh, some of the audio settings which have caused them to be even worse than they have already been uh, since the release of the game. Uh, with this, with Counter-Strike 2 being moved to the Source 2 engine, uh, there's been some uh, some issues that need to be kind of worked out, but uh, at least today we have some solutions. So I'm gonna go over a few that I've seen that I've also tested, as well as an additional one I found that uh, completely solved everything and kept the fixes from a temporary fix to a permanent one. Uh, so first we're gonna start with the stuff in game. Uh, if you just go over to your settings tab, top left, go up to video, advanced video, and uh, just take a look at all these settings here uh, and copy them down. Uh, most of them are on low or low quality, um, as well as a lot for favoring performance. Uh, I will point out the shader detail on high and the global shadow quality on high, I found uh, were beneficial just for competitive play uh, as the shadows are live in game. So, uh, being able to see those can give you a slight edge over your opponent. So I definitely consider keeping those high, uh, but depending on your sy system, adjust them as uh, you see fit. Uh, but I like to keep uh, most of my settings on low and benefiting for performance, especially for competitive games. Uh, just for reference, I'm on a i9 9900K and a 2070 graphics card. So uh, if you want to compare that with what you got and then my settings, but again, I do favor uh, for performance settings. Next, we're gonna head over to the audio tab and scroll down until you can see the streamline push to talk option. For most of you guys, this is gonna be on no and you're gonna wanna uh, select yes on this. And from the description, you can see that it says keeps the recording device active to avoid gameplay freezes on some hardware. So if it's on, no, whatever is going on internally, it's causing some sort of lag or delay, therefore impacting your game. So you're just going to leave this on or turn this to yes. And in terms of your audio, this isn't going to impact anything in terms of your push to talk or your volume or anything. Uh, it's just going to be making some changes internally. Next up, you're going to want to go to your Windows button in the bottom left, go to settings, uh, go to the search bar here, look up temper or temporary, go to delete temporary files, you're going to select the temporary files folder, and then you're going to see direct X shader cache, as well as a few other things. I'd probably recommend deleting these as well, just to clear up your system as much as you can, but specifically the direct X shader, shader cache, uh, you can read the description there, pretty much when you delete this, it's going to allow the shader files to be rebuilt and kind of update accordingly. So if these are backed up and not cleared out, uh, they can have conflicts with different versions of your, your drivers or your game, therefore causing issues. So after that, you want to click remove files. Once that's done, you're also going to want to go into your NVIDIA control panel. If you're on a NVIDIA card, you want to go up to adjust image settings with preview. Set this to the middle tab here. Go to take me here and you're gonna see a bunch of settings here i would highly recommend messing with all these settings and setting them for if you want higher quality or higher performance but specifically you're gonna to want to go down to shader cache size and fully disable that and then click apply it'll be in the bottom right here this will then disable the shader cache from building up and therefore they will be built up uh, every time you launch and therefore you'll be kind of updated with the new uh, shader cache each time. So it may increase a slight delay in your loading times, but I would say this is uh, way more preferable over dealing with micro setters in game. And uh, with that said, that is all the solutions. Uh, one other thing I would suggest trying if you're still encountering issues is just to reset your PC. Uh, all you have to do is just fully restart it. I'd recommend backing up all the important files you have and throwing them on a thumb drive or an online drive or on a separate hard drive and then fully resetting your PC. And this will just kind of clear out any corrupted files or viruses, malware, or anything just slowing down your PC in general. But with the first three fixes, I am very confident this will fix all your issues. And uh, yeah, so if you... 
So yeah, if you enjoyed and you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like and this will allow the algorithm to push it to the right people and hopefully uh, bring this fix to a wider audience. And uh, yeah, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.